Three. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And I am super pumped for today's guest for a number of reasons. But before we talk to our guest, I'd be remiss if I didn't properly introduce my co host. You know him, you love him, Six Sigma, Scott Todd from scotttodd.net, landmodo.com. Most importantly, if not automating your Craigslist and your Facebook postings, postingdomination.com forward slash Geek. Scott Todd, are you ready? Mark, you don't know how excited I am right now to be talking to our guest because, well, I got some things we got to talk about. Well, I do too. So it's going to be like a battle to ask I, Dan so, Candell questions. This is, this is the one podcast. I shouldn't say that. There's so many, but this one, I'm literally trying to figure out how I can record it at the same time as you because I know this one's going to be great. I'll give you the recording, Scott. Don't worry about it. I, I expect it. I uh, would expect nothing less. I'm a share. Dan Candell, if you don't know who Dan is, is a world-renowned expert on high performance and helping people break free from anxiety on all levels. Dan Kendall, I'll be honest with you. I'm an anxious guy. He is an international speaker, coach, and also board certified hypnotist and certified instructor through the National Guild of Hypnotists, as well as a columnist for the Journal of Hypnotism. He teaches people how to positively reprogram their subconscious minds to overcome their obstacles, achieve their full potential, and get more of what they want in their personal and professional lives. Dan Kandel, how are you? Hey, I got to live up to that introduction now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Scott and I are, are always talking about, you know, 90% of the obstacles that our clients face is mental, right? Oh, absolutely. And it's hard. It's hard on us. It's hard on them because we have these sort of tapes in our head about maybe money or um, asking people for money because like when you're in business or the marketing, am I being too pushy? Whatever it is, there's something to get in your way. And it's really, really kind of a, a hard thing to embrace the suck. So Dan, how do you help people do this? You know, I, after working with, I would say thousands of entrepreneurs and business owners and sales professionals, like anxiety and confidence, it's self-doubt, right? People lack confidence, they're afraid of those no's. So I actually teach people how to reprogram their subconscious mind. So that way, instead of dreading making those calls, they now look forward to them, they like them, they embrace them. And I also teach people how to get into other people's minds, um, almost like mind hacking of sorts through the powers of hypnotic persuasion and influence. So first and foremost, I'm a hypnotist. and uh, that's one of the techniques that I use, but it, it really, I would say hypnosis first and foremost is about like 50% effective with people. So I had to find other ways to make it more effective because I'm not happy unless I get like 93, 94% success with my clients and, and with the people that I coach. So um, I'm sure you guys have had coaches on before and people always ask, what's the difference between you and uh, <laughs> coach. Well, <laughs> right. Right. And I, and I'm not knocking coaches at all. I'm, I would consider myself a coach. But I don't like to call myself that essentially it is, uh, where a coach will give you strategies. I give you strategies, but I also I'm going to teach you how to reprogram your mind. It, it, it's like getting into a computer, typing the right code in, and then getting the result for the to uh, for the code that you typed in. All right. Well, I know Scott has some questions because he was telling me about uh, this act that him and his wife went to. Was it, it was Vegas, right? It was in Vegas. Yeah. It was yeah. Vegas. And it was the craziest thing, Dan. And yeah. I was very skeptical. So let's just talk a little bit about hypnotism and skepticism about it and sure. how it even works. But Scott, tell your story. It's crazy. Well, I went to, uh, to Vegas to one of the shows, right? An Anthony Cools. Yes, I know him. And, yes. And uh, I was absolutely convinced now i didn't go on stage but after watching it i and i was doubtful i was skeptical like you can't really hypnotize people whatever and you know he he did a great job of basically saying look 
I'm not going to be able to hypnotize everybody. Kind of, kind of exactly what you just said, right? He didn't say the 50% stat, but he basically said, there's, there's some people that are just not going to work. And I will know if it's not working on you and I'll ask you right. to leave the stage. And, you know, sure enough, he's going through his show and he would say, got to go. Cause he could tell based on their responses, based on their reaction. But after watching that show, I walked out of there, that theater, one, dying laughing, but two, more convinced than ever that you can hypnotize people and that it can change because I watch people do things that like you would not even believe that they did. And there's no way that they would have done it had they not been hypnotized, right? Right. And so I kind of walked away from there with a new appreciation of kind of like um, – being, being hypnotized or the fact that it can change lives. I mean, my wife always talked about one of her relatives that like literally stopped smoking because he went to a hypnotist and yeah. boom, all of a sudden he stopped smoking. So I think it's a pretty cool experience. It is. And, you know, being able to make someone orgasm on command is a pretty, uh, pretty good convincer right there. <laughs> and I know that's the type of show you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I also do the comedy shows and, um, and I, uh, I do like niche X rated shows. Um, but I, I have to be careful because I also do a lot of corporate work. So I can't mix the X rated stuff with the corporate show with the corporate work that I do. That just wouldn't fly. That'd be an HR nightmare. So, um, but then I also do the clean shows and, and actually this past weekend, I just did five hypnosis shows um, because we're uh, at the time that we're recording this, I'm in the middle of high school uh, graduation and uh, college orientation season. So I'm doing shows at one in the morning, three in the morning, five in the morning, because all the kids graduate from high school, they lock them into a, a facility so they don't go out drinking, drugging, sexing. They wait till after to do that. And then they'll have all these, uh, all these events like in, inflatable, the moon walks, laser tag. They'll uh, usually bring them to a place that has a pool. They'll go swimming and then they have the hypnosis show. Um, and it's a, it's a safe, clean, fun way of entertaining. But Scott and, and Mark, it's, it's also a way for me to showcase the positive side of hypnosis as well, because at the end of every, of every one of my shows, I do what's called a two minutes of transformation exercise. So I take the people that are up on stage. I usually have like about 20 people on stage. And as a thank you, I help program their mind to rewire themselves so they're less stressed, less anxious, they're more confident, more motivated. And for students, I give them a photographic memory. And when that happens, I'll give them a photographic memory for about three weeks. You hear all the other students go, ah, like I should have volunteered because <laughs> it's like legal cheating. <laughs> but, but, but Dan, I'm skeptical. First of all, sure. If, 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 hypnot if, if hypnotism is so powerful, right, why aren't we like doing this with our children at a young age? you know, reprogramming their mind, exactly. um, you know, why, you know, everyone's going to therapy. Right. Right. Why? And spending thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. Why not just go to hypnotists, reprogram the mind, get rid of mommy issues and, right. and sky's the limit. Because people don't realize the power that they themselves have they don't realize that they can make changes quickly because of what we're told and what we're taught mainly from, from therapists. And, and again, I'm not knocking therapy. I'm not knocking psychology. There's a time and a place for that. Some of my best friends are licensed therapists and they will also, also share with you. I have some clients that I've been seeing for 10 years and they still have the same problem. Right? So many of my referrals come from doctors and therapists and they give me four sessions to change a person, right? So um, in what my ideal is you give me one hour and I can totally change your perspective on uh, something that has happened because I, I've worked on murder investigations. I've worked on rape cases. I've worked with rape and trauma victims. 
Um, I have done helped people with memory recall to recollect um, uh, if they were witnesses to a murder or to a crime. So I've worked on some heavy stuff. I've worked with murderers when they got out of prison because they have anxiety about being integrated back into real life. Now, that's not what I, <laughs> that's, I don't really do much right. of that anymore, but that's not really my ideal. But that's kind of what led me to where I am today. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, people say I'm skeptical because hypnosis does have this connotation of um, that guy had to have paid all of those people to pretend like they were doing whatever they were doing. Um, but now hypnosis is widely used in medical cases and, and you see it's now being investigated and researched by Harvard, by Yale, they're having studies. Oxford University are doing studies on hypnosis and the, uh, the effectiveness and the efficiency of hypnosis versus traditional therapeutic approaches. And if you come in with an anxiety or a fear, I would say about 90%, 86 to 90% of my clients leave after that first one hour session knowing that they've made a shift because I'm going to change you in front of me. I, I'm not confident unless you tell me I, I feel different. So I'm going to put you through exercises that's going to change all your crap and that's going to change your perspective of it. So you acknowledge and you admit, okay, Dan, this is weird. Like I felt this way about this thing, like on a scale of zero to 10, my anxiety was at like a seven about this particular thing. And you've helped me lower it down to a two in a matter of four minutes. Like, how does that happen? So th th those are the experiences that I'm putting people through. Scott Todd, this is <laughs> incredible. Uh, okay. So can, can I, can I be hypnotized like through, through zoom? Like we're using yes. zoom right now. For you. Yeah. Yeah. Regarding so, you can be hypnotized through Zoom. I would say 50% of my clients are through Zoom, where we don't even ever meet in person because I travel all over the world doing this. And a lot of people, they'll like see me uh, speak and then they'll say, we, we got to work with you. So option number one is you fly to my office, which is in Northborough, Massachusetts. So you fly to Northborough and I spend um, four hours a day for two days with you. So it's a total of eight hours. And that's option number one, but most people don't want to fly and blah, 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 blah. So, um, uh, so I actually will see them over Skype or Zoom like this and uh, hypnotize them like this. But, but it's not just like, hypnosis isn't just close your eyes and go into this trance where you're like, blah, right? It's not, it's not like, like that. Uh, that is like the stage side of hypnosis. I can hypnotize you with your eyes open. I can implant a thought into your mind within a matter of seconds. I can implant uh, 25 thoughts in your mind within a matter of about uh, five minutes or so. So that way it totally changes your perspective about something. Um, so so it, it's not just about like closing your eyes and going into this trance where it's like you're uh, it, it, it appears as if you're sleeping and hypnosis isn't sleep. It's more of a state of receptivity that mirrors a deep relaxation, but then you don't even have to be relaxed to be hypnotized. It's, it's just anything that changes your perspective. So yes, you can be hypnotized over Skype, over Zoom. I can hypnotize you over the phone. I can even trigger something to hypnotize you over text message. Yeah, this is incredible. So, okay. so Dan, you gotta get hypnotized right now on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, let, but let's just talk about the fifty percent. That why don't those fifty percent? Why isn't it effective? Why aren't they receptive? So, so I'm talking about like a stage setting. Um, oh, okay. How, well, how about just one on one? It, okay. So, right. Say I'm really anxious. Yes. You know. So one on one, okay, one on one. The reason, and and I get a lot of hypnotists who who come at me for this, and they're like, hypnosis is way more than fifty percent effective. It is when it's done right. That's why I combine all these other techniques to make it in the um, uh, low to mid nineties effective. So the reason why traditional hypnosis is about fifty percent effective is because the way most people are trained is a one-size-fits-all approach 
which is utilizing a progressive relaxation, which is a method of hypnotizing a person or group of people that takes about 15 to 20 minutes. And basically what it does, it just bores a person into the oblivion where they have no choice but to just sit there and listen to you drone on about nothing. So this is what it sounds like. As you close your eyes, relax your big toe. And as you relax your big toe, send a wave of relaxation up into the upper part of your foot and down. Can you imagine listening to that for 20 minutes? And, 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 and that there is not as effective in today's society because our minds work so quickly. That worked much more in like the 1940s and 50s, but now it doesn't work as effectively. So we have to use quicker methods, faster methods, and that's why I do instant hypnosis with people, instant transformations. Um, uh, I, I did write a book for coaches and therapists and hypnotists called Instant Transformations, and it does help. Uh, it teaches you how to change a person within just a couple of minutes. Um, I wrote another book called The Hypnotic Connection, which is all about how to use hypnotic techniques to persuade and influence people, which is good for like sales relationships and, and stuff like that. So, um, so it's utilizing those two principles, but that's why hip traditional hypnosis is only about 50% effective because only 50% of the people will respond to those techniques that the hypnotist is using. So that's why when I teach other hypnotists, I'm teaching them how to use a client based approach. So we're instead of fitting Mark, instead of fitting Scott to my method, I'm fitting my method to uh, Mark and Scott. So in stage hypnosis, that's why you see people get up and walk off stage because we're using a one size fits all approach, which will, after we test people, because what we're doing, we're using waking hypnosis through the entire first um, 10 minutes of the show. That's why when a stage hypnotist comes out, like Anthony did, Scott, he was he was giving an introduction, talking to people about this is what hypnosis is, this is what it isn't, this is what's going to happen. And we're using conversational hypnosis to filter out the ones that it's not going to work as well for on stage. But if those people did not get hypnotized on stage, they went to um, uh, a board certified hypnotherapist, they'd make an excellent client just not necessarily an excellent stage subject. So not everybody on, not everybody can be hypnotized on stage, but almost everybody can be hypnotized in a one-on-one -on -one setting because we can adjust the method to fit you. Make sense? I, 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 yeah, I love it. So, so Dan, what is some of the worst advice you see or hear given in your area of expertise? Oh my gosh. Um, read a script, read a script. That is the worst piece of it. I, I hear this time and time again, people, uh, cause I train other hypnotists and other hypnotists who have taken other trainings will say, I learned how to read out of a book to hypnotize somebody. And because essentially when people are first taught hypnosis, we call it script gnosis. So people will open up a book and they'll say, okay, so you have a problem with losing weight. Okay. That, so you go to page 16. Okay. And this is all about weight loss. And then they'll, they'll read you, they'll read this to you to hypnotize you. Then once you're hypnotized, it says, now tell the client, say this to the client, but it could be all about eating chocolate cake and maybe they hate chocolate cake. So that's, that's why I said, we need to fit the, the approach to the client instead of fitting the client to the approach. So worst bit of advice I can, uh, that somebody uh, could give is just read a script. Uh, so... <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. So, I mean, Scott, I, I, I guess the question is, Dan Candell, are you a Superman? Do you, I mean, um, <laughs> what, what superpowers do you have? Well, let me ask you guys a question. So uh, my biggest thing is I, uh, my tagline is I travel the world teaching people how to reprogram their minds to get more of what they want in life. And then also reprogram other people's minds through persuasion and influence. But let me ask you guys a question. If you knew how to hypnotize somebody, what would you guys use it for? If you could hypnotize anybody to do anything, what would you use it for? Mark. Wait, Scott. Scott, <laughs> Scott you're, you're on mute. <laughs> oh, I know what I would use it for. What would you use it I, for? I would use it 
to help people when they're stuck in their mind trash of, of uh, you know, like where, they, where they're focused on the wrong stuff. And I would just say, listen, this is how you do it. Yeah. Because, and the only reason is, and maybe, maybe my wife can, maybe my wife uh, hypnotized me. I don't really know. But Mark, I don't think I ever told the story. I, I had my, you know, my MBA. I was like, I was doing jobs. I really wasn't happy with the job. You know, I was kind of using it, but I, my, my, my education, but I really wasn't there. I had a lot of self-confidence issues, honestly, looking back at it. And my wife says to me one day, she's like, you know what, I, Mark, I kid you not. It, it was probably about four, four to six months before I went to go work uh, at Hertz. And she said to me, she said, you've got the education, you got the brains, now it's time to put it t- together and start using it. And the minute that she said that to me, I was just like, boom. And off to the races I went. And then I went through a little bit of a lull. Like I, I got my job at Hertz. I started climbing the corporate ladder. I had a little bit of a little bit of a dip where I was like, man, I don't really know where I go from here. And then I had a, a, a boss who was a VP at the time. And he said to me one day, he's like, where, where do you want to be in five years? And I'm like, I really don't know. He's like, I'm like, where do you think I could be? He's like, I think you could be sitting in my chair as a VP. And I was like, what? Self-confidence. Again, yeah. lack of self-confidence. The minute he said that, the minute that he believed in me, the minute my wife believed in me, bam, all of a sudden, you know what? I'm, I'm on it. Like, because I believed in myself. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, less than five years later, I'm a VP at Hertz, right? Less than five. But it was all because of the self-confidence thing. And I believe firmly that, you're not, a lot of people don't get what they want because they lack self-confidence. You are, you are exactly right. And I find that people who are high performers and high producers are hypnotizing themselves, just like you did, Scott. People who, who are high producers or people who, are, are, uh, who like have a goal to get here from here to here and they do it they are already hypnotizing themselves. They're not calling it that, but they're essentially hypnotizing themselves. And that's, that's part of what I teach people to do is how to use hypnotic techniques to get more of what they want in life. And, and you're right. It's how to help people get over their, their mental trash and focusing on the wrong things and doing the wrong things and also eliminating that self-doubt to help them get more confident. There are some very simple techniques that, that help people very quickly with that. Mark, what would you use hypnosis for? Because I, I, I see your well, mind going. Well, you know, I've, I've got three kids and um, I've got, you know, like Scott and I talk about all the time. Like, I think ultimately, I think a lot of problems comes down to people not taking responsibility. Um, if I could use hypnosis, I'd want people to take full responsibility for everything in their life. No more excuses, right? No more this, no more defenses. Like you need to take full responsibility. And with that empowerment, now you can kind of move forward because there's nothing really holding you back. And the other would be deepening relationships um, right. and in having stronger, deeper, you know, uh, more intimate relationships. Right. And there are so many techniques that you can use to get those more intimate, deeper relationships and form that connection. That's what, uh, that's what my book hypnotic connection is about is about using persuasion and influence to uh, connect with anyone you choose. And, but there are simple techniques and, and words that you can use that bypass the critical factor of the conscious mind. And one of those words is the word imagine. And when you ask a person to imagine it bypasses their conscious mind, gets right into their subconscious mind. Um, Another word that you can use to influence people are three words that you can use to influence people. And people in sales have probably heard this before, but feel, felt, found. You know, Mark, I know how you feel that uh, people need to own responsibility for their actions. And in fact, I've felt that same way before in some of the circumstances and situations I've dealt with and some of the people I've worked with. And they have found that when you're a little bit more conscious of what you're doing and focusing on this instead of that, you get the results that you want. 
And that right there, boom, opens up a person's subconscious mind. It allows you to get information in. So essentially, what you're saying is not analyzed, but it's held as true. And, and that's why I teach my influence classes is how to get people to accept what you say as true. And so they don't even analyze it. It just right in right into the subconscious mind. Yep. <laughs> I, I love it. As long as people are using it for good. Absolutely. And, you know, and not, uh, and not taking advantage of people. Um, I, I think it's a, a phenomenal sort of one of these things that I don't, I don't know of anyone that couldn't benefit from it. Right. Um, anyone. So then, then the question becomes like, you know, I'm skeptical of the Tony Robbins stuff. You know, mm-hmm. you go to Tony Robbins for, for seven days and you're completely transformed. And, it, and I, I just can't imagine that it sticks, right? Because when all those people come out and be like just amazing, like 5,000 right. people. But right. I, I don't know. So, the, so how long does, does hypnosis stick? Yes. So basically what's teaching you how to do is to take control and hypnosis works best with reinforcement. And it doesn't mean you have to reinforce it over your entire life. You reinforce it until it sticks. So for example, one of the things I teach people is how to stimulate both sides of their brain. It's a hypnotic technique. And I teach them hypnotic um, uh, anchors and uh, what we call triggers. Now, you apply those triggers for uh, 30 days or for a week and some people, a week is all they need for it to stick. Some people only need two or three times for it to stick. And some people need 20 or 30 times to stick. It, it depends how strong that belief was within you. Because when you leave from a Tony Robbins event, you're on what we call a conference high. You are literally high from that, uh, uh, from that event. And that high will usually last about 48 hours after unless you reinforce it. So that's why I'm teaching triggers. And so for example, um, Mark and Scott, let's say you both want more confidence. What I would do is I would use a hypnotic technique that would bring these feelings of confidence into you. And I would anchor it down. And I'd say, every time you make a fist, with intention, every time you make a fist, you're gonna get this surge, this flood of confidence back into your mind and body. And this is what I like, this is an anchor. Making a fist is an anchor and it reinforces those suggestions. This is what I call the 30K a day exercise. I was working about six years ago with a group of um, uh, radio sales, uh, people who were were selling radio ads and I sat down with 50, uh, 15, excuse me, 15 of their top producers, and they were averaging about like $3,000 a day because it was a big radio station, $3,000 a day in, in sales. And I said, I want to help you 10x. Um, I, I asked everybody beforehand, what's the biggest obstacle? They said, just confidence. Like when we get on the phone, even though we're sales pros, we have this little voice of doubt, and sometimes we're not making our calls because of it. So, I led everyone through this exercise and I said, before you make a call, you're going to make a fist and it's going to instantly have this like force field go around you of confidence where you are indestructible, like your own personal superhero. I got an email about eight weeks later, this one guy, he, he said, I can't believe it, Danny. I've been practicing the fist every time I made a call and I finally made 30 thousand dollars in rate in, in sales revenue today he said everybody else is asking me how is my game improving so much and he said i just told them i use what dan kindel taught the, the the so that's why i call it the 30k day exercise something right. as simple as yeah. that you just have to use it and apply it right right so it's just it's just about like anything else in life you have a tool you have to use a tool right, right. right. i mean you could give me a hammer but if i'm not going to hammer any nails nothing's going to stick you're exactly right. Absolutely. Right. Scott Todd, any, uh, any other thoughts or? Matt, man, I'm ready to learn how to hypnotize people. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely, we're, we're Scott and I are definitely are signing up, but. Um, I, I, th- I think, I think, I think I got to go to Massachusetts and get like one-on-one training on this. <laughs> this is, uh, this is something I hope it translates. It's a passion of mine 
I've been doing this since I was 13 years old. I'm 31 now, so I can say I've been doing it for more than half my life. At one point, I was the world's youngest hypnotist. And um, it, it, it's just something I have such a passion for, helping people be successful, seeing other people be successful. So I, it's my mission to help people make success happen personally and professionally. And the more people I can help and influence, the better. Dan, is there anything that you think is normal or wise or cool that other people think is just crazy? Yeah. Oh, a- absolutely. Uh, so one of the first and foremost, like stage hypnosis, I, I just think it is so phenomenal where other people have literally told me I'm the spawn of Satan. Um, I've had people protesting outside of my shows before with signs that say, Dan Candell is the spawn of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some people think that hypnosis is evil and mind control. It, it's really not, but that, that's probably, you know, stage hypnosis. I love it so much because it showcases the fun and people look at me and they're like, you made a living out of screwing with people. <laughs> and but I love it. I really do. Yeah. I mean, no one's really getting hurt. I mean, I, I was talking to Scott about, you know, the, the woman who was literally having sex with a chair thinking she was yeah. having sex. And yeah. uh, I thought, well, what if that goes on, goes viral on social media? Is she going to lose her job kind of thing? Right. Right. And, and that, that's a big ethical debate. And that's also why um, we usually in those type of shows, we say like, you know, no videotaping because I have hypnotized teachers, like preschool teachers to do that um, on stage. And if, if that ever got released and sent to their students or something like that, it, it wouldn't look good for them. And it wouldn't look good for me either. Like, I don't, I don't want that for people. Uh, So that's why I say, we, we just have to be very careful in how we uh, address those lines. Right, right. Well, I, I have to say, like, this has been a really phenomenal podcast interview. I, I almost have too many questions, but we can't go too long. Or can we, Scott? How, how are we doing time-wise? <laughs> I, sadly, I think we've got to wrap it up. But, uh, All right. you know, I, I don't want it to end. I don't, I don't well, either. thank you. That that means maybe I've been hypnotized. I don't know, Mark. Mm, well, I'm, I'm excited about getting hypnotized through Zoom because that'll save me a lot of time. And I trip. think you should. Do, I, I think I think we should. You should do it, and we should videotape it. Yeah, sure. yeah. So cool. so when I, when I do the Zoom stuff, it's it's for like therapeutic purposes. Um, it's not really anything funny that we do, but there are some pretty cool stuff we can do through it. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I'm like Sam tonight with all my baggage. I, I don't know, maybe we our kids through it, Mark. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. Like, my kid, I mean, you know, kids and my wife and, you know, like, you know, like, 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 let's say, for example, if she wants to go to, you know, Telluride this summer and I want to go to San Diego, wouldn't it be great if I could just suggest, <laughs> you know, subconsciously San Diego? You, you can, I, I will teach you how to plant the seeds. I will teach you how to plant the seeds. Just, just don't go tell your wife you have a problem. You need to go see the hypnotist. That, that's a quick way to, to, you want to strengthen relationships. That's a quick way to end them right there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's, <laughs> yeah, true. That, right. that's how the divorce attorney comes in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. we'll, we'll, yeah we'll keep it on the down low. So um, Dan, this has been really great. I, I do want to ask you for one more tip, a website, a resource, another book. Um, and we're going to link to all your books. Sure. Um, you know, uh, something actionable for the Art of Passive Income listeners to do right now to improve their businesses, to improve their lives? What have you got? Absolutely. Absolutely. So there's actually two things. One is just to get like a little taste, go and download my motivational mixtape. It's actually completely for free on my website. And, and number two, this is why I ask of everybody, and it's these three things. Be well, do good, and be true to who you are because that's going to help you get to your passion. That's going to help you be your best self. When you be well, you do good for others and you be true to who you are. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, um, Scott Todd, that's going to be a tough one to, to follow, but what's your tip of the week? Mark. So recently I had a problem and the problem is that, um, I set up a display. It's actually right over to my right right now. And what it does is it keeps 
track of some key metrics, you know, like just imagine like, you know, like in a company, it's got these metrics that just kind of get refreshed and I'm constantly like looking over there. So I wanted a, a display. And the problem is, is that it's web-based and the, the website didn't like auto refresh. So I, like if I want to get an updated number, I have to go hit F5 on the keyboard and kind of defeated the purpose. So to solve that problem, what I did was I actually went and got a, a Google plugin called a Chrome plugin called auto refresh, auto refresh free. Of course, and you know what it does is you can say, Hey, I want this website or this, this browser window to refresh every 15 minutes or 10 minutes. And it will automatically refresh it every 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, it will just refresh. Boom, boom, every 10 minutes. So it keeps the connection live. It keeps me up to date. And there's so many applications for this. Like I'm looking for, for how to use it for other, other cases too. I think you'll like it. I love it. I love it. Well, my tip of the week is learn more about Dan Candell at the aptly titled website, dancandell.com. And you should just go there just to see the site. Like, um, you know, it's funny as I'm looking at Matt Ward right now, uh, also on the, on the, <laughs> the site. Uh, Dan and, and Matt have a podcast together too, Square Peg Round Hole, sprh.com. Um, but you were we recently had, uh, on, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was on that. And we had uh, Matt on here too, but um, it's so it's so funny, like to see these like college kids doing these crazy like duck walks, um, <laughs> and uh, it's really cool. And then of course it's cool to see Dan, you know, doing a TEDx talk. So go to dancandell.com. He's got tons of information in there, and you know why why not hack your life, right? What exactly. do you have to lose? Um, you literally have nothing to lose. So uh, let's, uh, let's start changing our lives one subconscious command at a time. Why not? Right? Uh, so go to dancandell.com. I do want to remind the listeners suggestively, I'm going to say it in a very hypnotic voice, please subscribe, rate, review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at the land And I will send you for free a signed copy of dirt rich retail value, $2.2 million. Don't put it on eBay. Um, so please do that. I just did yeah. it, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, um, also, and Dan's like, that was the worst hypnotic voice. Ever. <laughs> He's Imagine. like, don't ever do that. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you're horrible. But you read out of a book, didn't you? <laughs> you read it out of a book. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. So, so yeah. So send us your address. We can send you the book, um, a signed copy. Also, we'll send you for free our ninety-seven dollar passive income launch kit uh, as well. So please subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. We really appreciate it. it really helps. And um, Scott, let. Freedom. Ring. Ring. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan.